citizens of the internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and it is time for headlines. Let's do it. We're a little late to this Unreal VR story because it happened late last week, but it is so cool that we just have to talk about it. Epic will be launching a virtual reality tool for its Unreal editor this year, adding to the fever pitch of VR launches scheduled for 2016. The editor looks pretty fun to use, almost like a game in and of itself, but extending game design into VR is actually an important step forward for developers. Making games on a PC for something you're going to play in VR doesn't always translate properly, plus it's a pain for devs to have to continually swap between PC and VR to see their efforts in a 3D universe, as opposed to a 2D one on a monitor. The official release date for VR Unreal Editor will be announced at GDC next month. I think this is really cool. Not only does it make it seem easier to make VR in VR, but I think it's going to open up game development to a whole range of people that don't necessarily have technical skills because you're just touching and manipulating things in the world like you would in natural human life. Would you, would you say you'd call it a game changer? Yes, I would. Excellent. <laughs> All right, so there are a team of researchers in China who are showing off some incredible camouflage technology. Check this out. The Wuhan University team published their work a couple of weeks ago detailing how this camouflage works. Plasmonic displays cover a 3D printed chameleon model, which is so cute, and the plasmonic displays change color in real time as they cross different color panels. Light sensors inside the chameleon's eyes tell the panels what color they should match, but they're limited right now to just red, green, and blue. In the future, they say a more advanced version of this concept should be able to match any color, making it a prime candidate for adaptive camouflage in the future. And honestly, really, kind of setting up, uh, I don't know, the next Predator movie. This is happening. This is happening. I mean, we're going to have invisibility cloaks Pretty in much. our lifetime. We're, it's happening. The, the technology for this is pretty amazing, and the journal, the publication is very dense. But a good read if you're into science. I enjoyed it. So what do you think? Should we talk about this one, uh, or do you want to talk about VR I feel like we got to talk about VR and VR. I think that's a pretty exciting development. I really do. I, and we'll talk more about it on Thursday when we deep dive. But yeah. this also makes me very excited for GDC. Yes, indeed. And if you guys want to get in on the conversation, you can use the hashtag, hey, TD. Yeah, shout at us. And then if we like what you say, we'll incorporate it into our discussion on Thursday when we deep dive into our topics. That's right. So with that all said and done, let's talk about our photographer of the day. Today's photographer of the day is Aaron, who sent in this amazing picture that was taken with his iPhone 6 Plus. Aaron writes, took this pic at the Shards of Glass in London with my iPhone 6 Plus. It was a gorgeous day with the sun at just the right angle. I hope you enjoy this photo. I love your show. And of course, give you permission to use this in the show. This looks rendered. It looks like something you'd see in an Assassin's Creed game. It looks really pretty. He did oh. say he did say he used a filter. He used Beautiful. the instant filter. But still, that is a pretty great shot of London with the Thames. I just, oh, it makes me miss London so much. Yeah. I haven't been since 2012, and now... I haven't been in a long time either. Uh, man, what a beautiful day, too. It's usually foggy and gray, but it looked uh, so pristine. Gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous. If you want to be like Aaron and send in your phonetography, email us, tomorrowatcnet.com. Information's there. Give us permission to use it on the show. Make sure you attach your picture so we can actually see it. And honestly, tell us a little story about it, because we love stories. Yeah, and you can, uh, you can send those to us. Also, we love getting your feedback on the show. You can talk to us individually on Twitter or the show. All that information is here, all the social networking sites that we like. And also, one last thing before we go, make sure that you follow Tomorrow Daily on Instagram, because multiple account login is going to be active ASAP, which means you will be seeing a lot more activity on our Instagram feed, so please go Fun. follow us there. I'm yeah. very excited about that. Uh, that is it for today's show. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird, wonderful science fact meeting science fiction. But until then, be good humans. Bye, guys. Oh. 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 Oh.